Hello students, welcome back to this amazing world of mathematics. Today I am going to tell you a magical trick for integration and its application is very huge. Its application is really very huge. So without wasting time, let's get started with the trick. So we have already seen some standard integrals. We already know that these six standard forms is used almost every place. Plus three more forms means where the root is there means like this ax square plus bx means you can say all these nine forms you can say we have nine standard formulas whose application is very huge in almost 60 to 70 percent of integration are solved or are end by these six or nine formulas you can say so every time what the basics you need to do is you need to make a complete square so I hope everyone knows this formula first of all. I've just put it down so that you can just recall what we are going to discuss about. I'm discussing question about these. Oh yes sir, means root under quadratic, one upon root under quadratic or one upon quadratic. So in all such kind of question, what is the thing that student, what you can say feel very difficult is completing the square completing the square because after completion of square just you need to put one of the six standard formulas right but what about completing the square some teachers will teach you in some method some teacher will teach you in some method so it's very difficult i've seen students struggling for completing the square thing so by this method today you don't ever need to complete a square ever in the life just by this simple trick you can solve all such kind of question now sir quickly tell us the trick so the trick is in every such kind of question, when things are in quadratic form, just replace, just replace ax square plus bx plus c by d by dx. Everyone knows differentiation, means basic differentiation. d by dx of ax square plus bx plus c square minus delta or determinant or what or, or means discriminant you can say discriminant discriminant whole divided by 4a i hope everyone remembered delta discriminant is nothing but b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac that's it guys if you do this the quotient or the integrand will convert into a simple integration. You don't ever has to complete the perfect square. This simple step, differentiation of quadratic factor square minus delta, which is discriminant, which is b square minus 4ac by 4a. That's it. Let's see how we can apply this. For your things, I have put it down again here. Just replace that by this in any of the form. Just you need to replace the quadratic part you will get the answer. Let's see, sir. Like in this question, dx upon x square plus 2x plus 2. dx upon, it's a quadratic. So according to our rule, according to our shortcut, what we need to do is replace x square plus 2x plus 2 by d by dx of x square plus 2x because I'm explaining so it can be a little lengthy, but when you are in practice, it will become very shorthand minus delta okay sir let's find out delta so delta is equals to b square b square is 2 minus 4 a c so that means delta will become 4 minus 8 will be becoming minus 4 will be becoming minus 4 so minus 4 by 4 a as simple as that just you need to remember this now differentiation is the what x square differentiation 2x plus 2 ka square plus 4 by 4 now you can simplify more here because 2 i can take out so if you take out 2 it will become 4 x plus 1 whole square plus 1 uh, means uh, 4 by 4 so 4 4 4 cancel it will become x plus 1 whole square plus 1 that's it that's it so that means this integration now will be replaced by dx by x plus 1 whole square plus 1 no need of making a perfect square that's what i was talking about so this is a six of the means one of the six standard form answer will become tan inverse x by a that is x plus 1 plus c over sir 
that is b option that's it guys you will love this method because we face much difficulty in completing the square thing but now you can see that with this shortcut or with this trick you can solve any such kind of question i'll show you more don't worry sir what about question coming like this these are the nightmare questions for some students it's already root is there then minus x square and all and the basic method of completing the square is very difficult what we need to do is sir same thing this is like this so we need to now we will do it quickly we need to replace 7 minus 6x minus x square by differentiation 7 differentiation 0 minus 6x differentiation minus 6 minus 2x square minus delta so sir delta value will be b square now you have to be careful b is minus 6 so minus 6 square minus 4 a is minus 1 and c is 7 so it will become 36 minus minus plus so 4 7 is a 28 do remember this okay so minus 4 a c a is minus 1 here and c is 7 now 36 plus 28 so 8 plus 6 it's uh, 14 8 plus 6 it's 14 1 so 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 1 64 it will become 64 now coming back to this part so this is minus 64 divided by 4a and a is nothing but minus 1 do remember that each and every value should be according to the ax square plus bx plus c so this will become what sir i can take minus 2 out you can take minus 2 out. So, minus 2 will come out as 4x plus 3 whole square minus 64 by minus 4. Now, I can divide by minus 4. So, it will become 16 minus x plus 3 whole square by 1. See, sir, it completed into a perfect square without doing anything. It's a simple math here. So, this integration now will become dx by replacing this by that 16 minus x plus 3 whole square. So, this is a square minus x square which is nothing but sine inverse x by a over sir. You will love this method because after this you never need to complete a square. Never, never you need to complete a square, just a simple differentiation, delta over sir. Any kind of quadratic, any kind of quadratic means 1 upon quadratic, 1 upon root under quadratic, root under quadratic. Just this magical trick will make your means solution or the solving thing very easy. Let's see one J question which came in 2020. So, question do come from this form, from partial fraction, by part. These three are the major, for, uh, what you can say the terms or you major forms from which question has been asked in J means regularly. Okay. Now, what was the question? Sir, it is cos theta, how it is quadratic and all. If you see it properly, this is nothing but cos theta d theta divided by, sir, sin theta, cos square theta. I can write cos square theta as 5 plus 7 sin theta minus 2 cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta. Okay. Now, if you open the bracket, this is cos theta d theta divided by it will become plus 2 sin square theta plus 7 sin theta minus 2 5 minus 2 plus 3 plus 3. So, cos theta by this. Sir, how it is applicable now just see that cos theta d theta by 2 sin square theta plus i think it was uh, 7 sin theta plus 3 7 sin theta plus 3 right this is the thing now if you put cos theta as t so it will become sin theta or sorry 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 if this is if you put sin theta equals to t so, it will become cos theta d theta equals to dt. So, that means dt by 2t square plus 7t plus 3. Again, a quadratic where x square coefficient is not 1. Or you can say the leading x t square coefficient is not 1. 
so again a problematic question to solve because i need to complete in a perfect square and all but now we have a magic trick so according to that magic trick i need to replace this by directly i need to replace it by uh, differentiation of this 2t square will become 4t then plus 7 whole square minus delta now delta is what here you can see that uh, delta will be what b square b square is 49 minus 4 ac 4 3 is a 12 12 uh, 2 is a 12 means uh, minus 4 ac 4 2 is a 8 8 3 is a 24 so this will give you uh, 49 minus 24 will give you 25 will give you 25 divided by 4 a now 4 2 is a 8 4 a 4 2 is a 8 so this is j question now what I will do is replace dt. Now, this entire quadratic part will be replaced by 4t plus 7 whole square minus 25 by 8. So, 8 will go up, sir. 8 will go up. Now, 8 is a constant. Remaining is what? You can see that it's a x square minus a square form. So, it will become 8 is a constant into 1 by 2a is 5 log of x minus a so that is 4t plus 7 minus 5 4t plus 7 plus 5 plus c but do remember whatever is there with t that will come in division so that means into 1 by 4 will also come after this you can simplify and get the answer right so the major crunch is how to complete the square so whenever now, after knowing this magical trick, after knowing this magical trick, whenever there is a quadratic in the root, outside the root, one upon something, you need to do what? Just replace, just replace the quadratic by d by dx of this square minus delta by 4a. Your problem will be solved. Your problem will be solved. This is really a magical trick. It will help you to score marks also and it will make your integration toughness to a very easy level okay so stay tuned for such more videos i'll be there keep learning